Carson Wentz is a former number two overall pick and almost MVP. But over the last few years, he has not been very good. So today in Madden 23, I attempt to save the career of Carson Wentz. Wentz will have three years to accomplish as many as the following goals as he can. Become a 90 overall in Madden, make the playoffs, win an NFL MVP, and win the Super Bowl. But before we can do anything with Carson Wentz, we need to figure out which NFL team he'll be starting these next three years with. So we have the wheel of NFL teams, which we're going to spin right now. And no matter what team he goes to, it could be the Chiefs. He's going to be the starting quarterback. And he will be going to the Tennessee Titans. And for every challenge that I complete on this challenge wheel, I will then be able to spin the wheel of upgrades to upgrade Carson Wentz or the team that he's on. But because it's year one, we are going to give Carson Wentz a free upgrade because we all know that he needs it right now. And it is going to be... A 50-point free upgrade. And before any upgrades to Wentz, he starts the season as a 69 overall. So the first thing I'm going to do, which is huge for quarterbacks, I'm making his awareness an 80 from a 61 using 19 points. With the remaining 31 points, I want every single accuracy stat, short, medium, and deep for Wentz up to a 90. And with all of Wentz's accuracy stats now at a 90, we have one point remaining, so I'll just put that to throw power. And Carson Wentz is now an 82 overall. And now the Wheel of Challenges will decide our challenge. I spun it right before this, and I got four guys and i wasn't recording so we have to spin it again and now we have nba 2k and here we go we got to win this tip off we're using the memphis grizzlies since we're using the tennessee titans both teams reside in tennessee can we score a point who can we give this ball to desmond bain he looks kind of open steven adams we'll see let's just you know what let's just attack live or die right here by steven adams Come on, Steven Adams. Get him to jump. Okay, we don't have to. A goal 10, and we get the upgrade for Wentz. And that means it's time for another Carson Wentz or Tennessee Titans upgrade. And what are we going to be getting? That's going to be a new team option that we're going to decline. So that's going to stay on the wheel because we haven't even played with the Titans yet. I have no idea what to expect. So we'll save that for another time. Maybe we got to use a couple years down the road. But I will take 25 more upgrade points for Wentz. My first 10 points at Wentz are going to go towards his awareness. It was at an 80 prior. Now it's at a 90. And then I'll use 8 more points to make his strength an 80. With the 7 remaining points, I will make his throw on the run 85 from 81. So that'll be 4 points. And then throw under pressure will bump up by 3 points. Now we'll make Carson Wentz before even playing a down for this team at 86 overall. Here is the starting offense for Carson Wentz. He obviously has King Henry in the backfield. The receivers are okay. This team could use some work offensively. But defensively, you have 2 studs and Jeffrey Simmons and Kevin Byer. And now we just see what Carson Wentz could do. It's finally time for the first snap of his career with the Tennessee Titans, his fourth team in four years. King Henry gets the ball and he picks up one. I have pretty much done everything I could do for Carson Wentz. 75 points of upgrades I got him before his first snap and he's taken down by four. Well, I didn't want to see a three and out the first drive. I'm not going to lie. Let's see if Carson Wentz can pick up a third and long here. Can the protection hold up? Again, he's taken down by Leonard Williams. Are you kidding me? And Dexter Lawrence got a piece too. What is going on by this Titans offensive line? And because that first drive was absolutely horrible, we are jumping in for another drive with Wentz. Looks like he got the ball at the 44-yard line. And he's picked off. Okay, we can't watch anymore. After that horrible performance jumping in with the Titans on the field and Carson Wentz, we have actually made the playoffs. We win the division in a three-way tie with the Colts and the Jaguars, but they also get into the playoffs. Wentz did rank horribly, though, in yards and touchdowns. His touchdown interception ratio wasn't bad, though. 28 touchdowns, 5 picks, 3,733 passing yards. The rushing game might have hurt his totals, though, because Derrick Henry had almost 1,800 rushing yards. Can't be mad at that in 18 touchdowns. And then Haskins had 10 touchdowns on the ground. Wentz even produced a 1,000-yard receiver, Robert Woods, of 1,323 yards receiving. And in the playoffs, we are taking on Russell Wilson. So we're back in Tennessee. Same thing we saw in week number one except this time we are in the playoffs can Carson Wentz do something different he actually didn't get sacked or throw a pick he has a reception with Traylon Burks finally Wentz does something right and now Derrick Henry gets the ball says get off me and Derrick Henry carries the ball to the 40 yard line so two pretty good plays for this Titans offense I thought Derrick Henry was honestly going to get a little more outside right there it might be gone that would have been a huge start to this playoff game. Derrick Henry to the outside again, this time taken down. And right away, we got an early third down with a big opportunity to keep this drive going. Derrick Henry gets the ball. Derrick Henry is stuffed at the line of scrimmage pretty much. But will they go for it on fourth and one? And now it's time to see if the Tennessee Titans and Carson Wentz will be moving on in the playoffs. They draw first blood here with the touchdown. They get the first touchdown. Carson Wentz gets another for the Titans. It's 14-7 Titans. 21-7 Titans. It's becoming a blowout here now in Tennessee. 
Broncos do answer, but we keep a three score lead with a minute and 18 seconds left. Russell Wilson will not be riding here today because we're going to the next round. And in the divisional game, we are headed to Cincinnati to take on the Bengals. This game is going to be tougher, though, than the game against the Broncos. The Bengals score first. They're up seven to nothing. Wentz now on offense. We get a flag. That's a reception over the middle by Austin Hooper. Will it stand? It looks like pass interference on the defense. We should be good. But a quick third down right after this. So far this season, I would say is a success. I don't remember the last time Carson Wentz even made the playoffs. So to win a playoff game in his first year with his new team is huge. And Traylon Burks almost makes a huge catch right there. Then it's almost picked. We are getting blown out now in game two of the playoffs here in the divisional round. 49 to 14. I mean, the defense did not show up. We still put up 21 points with Wentz. And that now means that we are back to the wheel of challenges to hopefully upgrade the Titans or Carson Wentz. And we are going to get NHL 23 as our challenge. Here we go with the Nashville Predators, also in Nashville, Tennessee. So let's see if we can score a goal and get the upgrade for Wentz or the team that he's on. He turned it over. We missed the net. What are you kidding me? What a goal. Are you kidding me? That's how we give it up. And after loading back on to Madden 23, it looks like Carson Wentz has signed with the New England Patriots in free agency. So this will be the new offense that Carson Wentz is working with. A way better offensive line, but he doesn't have Derrick Henry. The Patriots do have a very solid offense, though. I'd say more well-balanced than the Titans. So we are jumping in with Carson Wentz first play as a Patriot. I did not expect them to switch teams. Definitely thought the Titans would resign him, but we are going to go wherever Carson Wentz goes. We are letting nature take the wheel. We are not going to interfere with any interaction with Carson Wentz or any of these other teams to have them sign with a specific team unless we get that new team option that's the only time it will change and what a catch by Devontae Parker but here's a chance in the opening week of the regular season in year two on a third and seven for Carson Wentz to make a big third down conversion and it looks like we are going to be getting three points and right now Carson Wentz has tied this game up I was going to say it doesn't look he's going to be winning his first game as a Patriot but he's playing an amazing second half and he wins this game basically at the buzzer, winning it 38 to 34. What a win by Carson with his new team. At the end of Carson Wentz, year number two, sadly didn't make the playoffs like he did in year number one. Could be a mistake leaving the Titans. We'll see if that comes back to haunt him. Wentz's production also wasn't as good because his touchdown interception ratio was way worse. This year he did a better passing yard. It's 4,138, but 30 touchdowns to 15 picks. And now we spin for the final challenge. Carson Wentz still has a lot to accomplish in year number three. So we need to upgrade him and we'll be doing a Madden online touchdown. So we're back with Wentz with the commanders here because in Madden online I can't use him on any team that I want. He's got to be on a team that he's actually playing for and that is the Washington commanders. So Dotson what a catch and we are down to the 25. But we need a first down here. I'm going Terry's way really quickly. I should have waited. I had stuff wide open. Wow he's gonna go all the way. Wow, what a bad performance on these last two games. Wait, can we get the tackle? No, we can't. We don't get an upgrade. Here's what the offense is looking like in Wentz's final year. And here's the defense. I'm not expecting a huge playoff run. Well, with one game remaining in year number three, the Patriots are 6-10. and ten. They are now making the playoffs. And to add insult to injury, the Titans have clinched the playoff berth. So I decided let's jump into Carson Wentz's final NFL game, probably, with the New England Patriots here in year number three. And let's see what happens. As far as I'm concerned, this is Carson Wentz's Super Bowl. So let's end this year with a win. Wentz over the middle. That one's going to be incomplete. Will this be a quick three and out for Wentz's first drive of his final game here in this video? He's got time. Protection going deep and it's incomplete. And in the second half, the Colts are up 31 to 17. Is there a huge comeback happening here? I just realized we did not see one touchdown from Wentz when I've actually jumped in to a live game. That is crazy throughout a three-year simulation. And the end of the year, Wentz had 4,152 passing yards, 23 touchdowns, 12 picks. Not a great year again. That's gonna do it for the video, everyone. If you enjoyed, do me a favor, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new. In the comments down below, make sure to check out my other channels and also make sure to follow me over on my social media. But I'll talk to you all in the next video. Peace.